Hey everybody, it's Raven Ways. Welcome to my channel. So what I thought I'd talk about today is the upcoming solar eclipse in the sign of Sagittarius. So a solar eclipse is where the moon blots out the sun. It's happening this December 14th in the sign of Sagittarius. Okay, 23 degrees Sagittarius. So there's different ways to look at what an eclipse means. Okay. I tend to look at what it means in mundane charts and I like to take the, um, I like to look at it like how it affects large groups of people because traditionally that's what solar eclipses were all about. They had something to say about the lives of people and depending on what sign um, the eclipse took place in and whether that eclipse took place in a nation's chart above the horizon uh, or below the horizon had something to say about how severe the eclipse was um, going to be or how serious it was going to be or how it would affect a nation. Um, the one that is coming up in the sign of Sagittarius is um, in the Sibley chart, which is the USA birth chart or mundane chart of the USA, okay, one of the many. Um, in that chart, the upcoming solar eclipse is taking place below the horizon, but close to the ascendant of that chart in Sagittarius in the first house. Now, the first house represents the people, ordinary people and things that, that really affect them. So um, this solar eclipse may, again, uh, really rev up the people. And I know there's a lot going on and a lot of people are, will say, well, tell me something new, but there will be some something new coming very soon around December 14th, maybe a different kind of vibe, um, something that that really speeds up um, the whole um the whole process of um, people's experiences in the U.S., you know, something very, um, usually I find with solar eclipses anyways, things move very fast, okay, after a solar eclipse. And depending on how many hours it takes for the eclipse to take place, um, traditional astrologers see like every hour that the eclipse is taking place in the world. So if it takes, let's say this eclipse, I think takes just over four hours, the solar eclipse. So that would be four months of effect from the eclipse. And a lot of astrologers don't just look on the day as the day in which you will have things happening. Okay. But in fact, before the eclipse takes place and depending on how many hours it takes for this eclipse to take place all over the world, um, it can, it can actually have an effect for many, many months. So yeah, there's going to be a lot happening around uh, leaders, okay, because it's taking place in the sign of Sagittarius. It tends to be about, um, leaders, war, arguments, discord, um, things, you know, ideas, um, debates, they speed up quite a bit. Um, do you know, there's, uh, there's an intensity in, um, leadership and how people will be led. And sometimes there's going to be a lot of tension between countries when there's an eclipse, uh, solar eclipse in Sagittarius. And of course, there's going to be even more tensions in the U S because the solar eclipse is taking place in the Sibley chart, uh, in the first house, and it is going to be directly opposite Mars in Gemini, okay, uh, in the seventh house. So yeah, there's going to be, because it's taking place in a fire sign and because it's taking place uh, in the Sibley chart in the first house, it's definitely going to affect um, people's relationships to their government and their leader. Sorry, my son came into the room there. So yeah, so this solar eclipse will bring yeah, difficult relationships between people and their leaders, people in the government. Um, it might bring in the possibility of uh, war or plans for war in the future, um, tricky international relationships. And um, sometimes it brings the death of really important people in a society. Okay. But now because the solar eclipse is taking place below the horizon in the American Sibley chart, we may not, we may not see the intensity there because there was a lot of traditional mundane astrologers that felt that if an eclipse takes place below the horizon, it's not, a, you know, when we're talking a solar eclipse, it's not, it's not going to have the same intense significations. Okay. So it's to be seen, but having said that it's taking place very close to, um, the ascendant in the Sibley chart. Now, another thing, um, about the solar eclipse in Sagittarius is that, do you know, there's a lot of astrologers that believe when a solar eclipse takes place, whatever sign it's in has a lot to, um, say about, um, 
you know, the countries that are ruled by that sign will be affected by that solar eclipse, depending on what sign it's in. Okay, so this one is in Sagittarius, and there's um, countries that are ruled by Sagittarius. I think Britain is one of them. I'd have to check. I, I'm not too sure. I thought it was Capricorn, but maybe it's Sagittarius. I think I heard one astrologer say Britain is ruled by Sagittarius. Russia is ruled by Sagittarius. Um, Spain is ruled by Sagittarius. Hungary is ruled by Sagittarius. Libya, Kenya. I think to, uh, there's also cities ruled by Sagittarius, like Toronto, Naples. Um, oh, man, I had a whole list of them in my head, and I forget. Um I can't remember. Just check. Just Google it. There's a whole bunch of cities that are ruled by Sagittarius. See if your city is one of them. And these places can also feel the effects of um, this solar eclipse and in Sagittarius. So maybe they'll find that there's more arguments in their city or their country. Maybe they'll find there's um, a lot of uh, international problems or problems with getting along with other countries. Um, maybe there will be problems um, that, you know, that people feel with each other. Um, so it's, it's going to definitely speed things up. I always see a solar eclipse as very intense, speeds up situations. It's not a quiet time. And it does, um, it doesn't just take place on the day, all these changes. It takes place over a period of time. And in this case, with the upcoming solar eclipse in Sagittarius, it's over four months. Now, when it comes to, I guess, a solar eclipse in your chart, what I would do is I'd look at 23 Sagittarius and see if you have any planets there or if there's anything there that you have at 23 Sagittarius. If it's within one degree of where the solar eclipse takes place, um, take a look at the planet and take a look at the house that it's in. And that will say something about your experience for the next four months. And that will tell you about something that's going to happen in your life, in your life experience. Okay, so for example, I don't know, let's say you have... Mm, do you know the moon at 23 Sagittarius, let's say in the first house, then maybe there's a real physical event there that's going to happen to you. Okay. Maybe you will travel. Um, maybe you'll decide to, um, get rid of some of the things that you thought were really important in your life. Okay. It really depends on what planet is close to the place where the eclipse is. And also you can, other things you can do if you're interested is take a look at what planets go past that point, 23 Sagittarius, after the eclipse takes place, because that point might be very sensitive for whatever transits go past that point. Another thing to say, and just to back up here and talk about the Sibley chart again, is that because this eclipse is happening in the first house of Sagittarius for the American mundane chart, it's ruled by Jupiter. And Jupiter is a really important planet um, for the USA because it's in the eighth house. And the eighth house um, with Jupiter in Cancer, Jupiter feels very comfortable, very exalted in the sign of Cancer. So perhaps um, this vaccine, you know, has something to say about the vaccine. Maybe that is really going to change things in the U.S. for the better, do you know? Because Jupiter is a planet that brings optimism and hope for the future and um, uh, new possibilities, new ideas. And because Jupiter is in Cancer in the eighth house, maybe it brings some kindness and a breath of fresh air and, you know, um, some good news maybe, but it is in the eighth house. And the eighth house is always associated with death and mortality, but it also deals with debts and problems with um, money and loans, things that are owed. Um, so there could be some effect also uh, in the marketplace, do you know? Uh, you know, something on a, that has to do with loans and debts in the U.S. So we'll have to see. But because Jupiter is the planet that is ruling the sign where the solar eclipse is, it does say something about what to expect in the USA. And it's Jupiter. And Jupiter is a good planet. It's It, it brings um, something to look forward to. So, but it is in a difficult house. So I don't know. We've got to watch for this. Um, I think it could, it could show some problems with the marketplace. I don't know why, but I do think it may have something to do with the marketplace and something very, um, volatile there, something, something there that is, um, not necessarily, it's not going to be as straightforward. Okay. But, um, I also think that, um, 
outside of Jupiter being the planet that's ruling the sign of the solar eclipse. I think that because it's taking place in Sagittarius in the first house and because it's in opposition to Mars, and I'm still talking about the Sibley chart, um, I think it is going to bring some tension around war um, and possibly going to war, international tension, a lot of discord between the U.S. and other countries. I think things are uh, really going to come to head because there's, well, there's a lot of work to be done, uh, definitely there. And I'm not sure if Britain is ruled by Sagittarius. If it is, it would make sense because, of course, there's going to be a lot of changes with Brexit coming up, and that has a lot to do with international relations as well. So, um, more to come, um, but, oh, um, right, and about your personal chart, okay, back to your own chart. Look where the solar eclipse is, like I said, look and see if there's any planets around there. Uh, also, if the solar eclipse happens on one of the major angles in your chart, like look to your ascendant, descendant, MC, IC, okay, so look at those points because when if a solar eclipse takes place around those points it can actually bring a lot of change as well and look at the planet jupiter and what it's doing in your chart because it is the ruler of this eclipse so if your planet jupiter is in an excellent place and let's say it's in a very social house do you know it might bring some very intense new friendships right or romances if it's in the fifth house you know definitely play with this and um you know take notes like after the eclipse happens what happens does something really big happen to you personally Okay, take notes and and watch the effect of the eclipses. You can get really addicted to them. Um, another thing is, you know, we're not at this solar eclipse yet, but I find that the period between the lunar eclipse and the solar eclipse, um, a really sensitive time, uh, a time where, yes, you know, things speed up. Um, there is a type of intensity and sometimes situations come to a head out of the blue. So be aware of that kind of energy because I do find that um, that happens. Anyways, I hope that's helpful. I like to come on here and, and just talk astrology or whatever's going on. Um, if it helps you, that's great um, because, you know, there is a huge connection between the heavens and earth. And to me, it's a very important connection and it can help us in our lives and give us some information about what we should be looking forward to or what we should be avoiding. You know, it depends. Blessings.